545. 545 children. 545 children separated from and perhaps forever lost to their parents. If ever justice mattered. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So I'm sure you've seen the reporting by now. Here is just one of the headlines that we've seen during the last 24 hours. Quote, lawyers say they can't find the parents of 545 migrant children separated by the Trump administration. This is child abuse. Child abuse perpetrated by Donald Trump and a number of his federal government officials. But don't take my word for it. Here's what the president of the American Academy of Pediatrics said. Quote, Pediatric doctor says separating families at the border is a form of child abuse. And the article reads in part, It is a form of child abuse, Dr. Colleen Kraft, president of the American Academy of Pediatrics, told CBS This Morning co-host Gail King, after Dr. Kraft visited a Texas facility where children 12 years and younger are being held. Child abuse. It's also been called crimes against humanity. The American Federation of Teachers, among other groups, has concluded that what Donald Trump and his government officials have done constitute crimes against humanity. And remember not long ago when the New York Times shed some additional light on what other government officials were responsible for this child abuse, these crimes against humanity. Here's how the New York Times headline reads. Quote, we need to take away children no matter how young, Justice Department officials said. And that New York Times article reads in part, we need to take away children, Mr. Sessions told prosecutors, according to participants' notes. One note added in shorthand, quote, if care about kids, don't bring them in. Won't give amnesty to people with kids, close quote. And when five border state U.S. attorneys, five prosecutors objected, saying they were concerned about the devastation that would be suffered by these young children if they were taken away from their parents, here's how Rod Rosenstein responded. Quote, Rod Rosenstein, then the deputy attorney general, went even further than Jeff Sessions in a second call about a week later, telling those five prosecutors that it did not matter how young the children were. Rosenstein said that the government lawyers should not refuse to prosecute cases simply because the children were barely more than infants. Child abuse, crimes against humanity. So what of justice? Under Bill Barr, the wheels of justice haven't just stopped. They've been rolling in reverse. Bill Barr uses the power of the Department of Justice, uses the levers of government to protect, to reward, to do favors for Donald Trump's friends and criminal associates, while he uses the power of the Department of Justice and the levers of government to crush, to punish Donald Trump's perceived enemies and antagonists. Well, guess what, folks? The wheels of justice are going to start rolling again in January. 
And you know what we're likely to hear from those Department of Homeland Security officials who implemented Donald Trump's family separation policies, that child abuse, those crimes against humanity. You know what we're likely to hear from the Bill Bars and the Jeff Sessions and the Rod Rosensteins who said, separate the children. I don't care how young. I don't care if they're infants. We're likely to hear, I was just following orders. Just following orders. You know, I was just following orders didn't work for Lieutenant William Calley after he murdered 22 unarmed South Vietnamese civilians in what would go on to, to be known as the, the massacre at My Lai. I was just following orders, didn't work at the Nuremberg trials. And I was just following orders will not work at the Trump trials either. Child abuse, crimes against humanity, 545. Justice is coming and justice matters.